What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well and welcome to a little bit of a different video. Now today, I thought, you know what? I step away from the room that I usually record in and um, I thought actually a really, really special video for you guys. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and show you guys and today I can finally do that. But before we do get into that, I have an Evolving Skies booster box with me right in my hand and the reason I'm holding this is because I'm doing a live box break on Tuesday the 21st of September. Be sure to go check out my website, it is a brand new website that I've made just for box breaks as well as some other things coming in the future. But if you want to get involved, go check out the website, the link is in the description, it's www.pokedean.com and yeah you can find everything you need to know about the booster box and the uh, box break over there. So anyway, let's get into today's video, if you do enjoy it please hit that like button and if you are new, be sure to subscribe. But I've got a special guest with me today as well. Little Jazz, the little dog. She's just chilling. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and have a look. So, as you can see right here, I have purchased a $20,000 Pokemon collection. I say Pokemon, it's actually got some Dragon Ball Super stuff in as well, because I am a big fan of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, the card game. Um, and this opportunity came and I thought, you know what, after a long, long debate, I thought, you know what, it's a good decision. Let's take a risk and let's just purchase this um, collection and see what we can do with it. So today, I'm not going to get into everything because there is literally so much stuff. But I thought, you know, what, I'll show you guys a few of the stuff. But what I plan to do with it is in the future on my channel is kind of go over everything that I've bought. Some stuff that I'm going to keep, some stuff that I'm not going to keep. Um, some stuff we're going to go through and potentially grade um, and all kind of stuff and I just want to show you stuff I've invested in and hopefully you guys can kind of enjoy the the process of me buying a massive collection and seeing what I do with it so I'm going to put this down I've also got some stuff over here which I'll show you in a little bit um, you probably saw a massive box which is awesome and I can't wait to show you guys but um, as you can see I know a lot of you guys probably aren't into like Dragon Ball and this is mainly a Pokemon channel um, but I thought if you guys would like to see some of the Dragon Ball stuff let me know in the comment section, I'll be happy to show you guys um, because there are some really, really cool cards. For instance, I'll show you one. Uh, I'll take this lid off. So, inside here is two PSA 9 graded Dragon Ball cards. These are unbelievable. This is probably one of my favorite cards. It is the first ever secret rare of the Dragon Ball Super uh, card game. It is a Ultimate Force Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. And then also I really just love this card, which is a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. If you look at the artwork, these cards are beautiful. These are so, so cool. So shout out to all the Dragon Ball collectors out there. Um, if you wanna see some more of this stuff, obviously uh, this channel, like I said, is mainly Pokemon, but if you guys want me to add this into what I'm showing off the collection, leave me in the comment section down below. But as you can see, there is so much sealed stuff. Um, this box over here on the left is mainly Dragon Ball stuff. Um, we've got some, actually, we have this right here, which is like a, a Battle League deck. I thought this was really cool because it has um, a lot of cards from the Sun and Moon era of the Charizard and Reshiram, as well as the Charizard and Brexen card. So I thought, you know what? This is something really, really cool. Um, I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought for all the Charizard fans, and as you guys know, we're the Charizard gang. Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. This had to had to be put into the, uh, the deal as well. So like I said, this box is mainly Dragon Ball stuff. There are some really, really cool stuff in it. Um, you might see that shiny face tin over there as well, but I'll get into that in a future video. Um, this box here is a lot of sealed stuff. Um, mainly you can see stuff like build and battle kits. We've got hidden face tins as well. We've got like loads and loads of really cool stuff. Um, and then also we actually have some sealed Dragon Ball Super uh, booster boxes, which are going for quite a bit at the moment. Um, uh, like, like I said, the artwork on those sets are just incredible. So. Got some PSA cards as well, which I'll um, get into in a future video. Some really, really cool sealed stuff. So if you wanna see all this sealed stuff and what I'm gonna do with it, hit that like button. And then finally, this box right here, if I take the lid off, is a really, really, really cool box because this right here, I don't know if you can see all the binders. There are a lot of sets, completed sets as well. Um, there are also some uh, cards in these uh, ETBs as well, which I'm going to show off in a future video. Um, some really cool collections. There's like a Charizard collection here, which I can't wait to show you guys. But for instance, if you're wondering what cards are in these uh, sets, right here is a complete set of Team Rocket. And what I plan to do with these is we're going to go through in a future video, all of the cards, seeing which ones we could potentially get graded. As you guys know, PSA, or you may not know, PSA have actually uh, reduced the price for their submission to 
$150 instead of $200. So we might look to get some of these cards graded, but it's really, really cool to have a complete set of Team Rocket. So there are some other sets in here which I plan to go through in the future. But yeah, like I said, $20,000. Like this is the biggest purchase I've ever spent on a Pokemon collection or just a TCG collection because like I did mention, there is some Dragon Ball as well. Oh, and also one other thing I wanted to show you guys is this over here. Uh, let me move this booster box. Like I said, if you want to get involved of the uh, Evolving Skies booster box uh, box break, be sure to check out my website. Um, but yeah, this is the rarest Hidden Fates product you can get of all time. It is the Ultra Premium Collection box. Now, the reason why this is rare is because inside it's actually really hard to see because there's so much foil and there's a lot of plastic inside but inside it is a uh, Rayquaza figure which is also a card holder and uh, the problem with this box is that it's super super fragile um, a lot of people who bought this found out that the toy inside the Rayquaza which is a shiny Rayquaza the head actually falls off so this one luckily for me the head is still intact and I think uh, these go for around 400 to 500 pounds I haven't checked recently but this is the rarest thing you can get in Hidden Fates because it comes with 15 packs, it comes with a play mat. Oh, and also there's three promo cards of a Shiny Rayquaza, a gold Solgaleo and a gold Laluna card. Um, so yeah, that is one other thing that is really cool about this collection that I've bought is that there is a super rare product that I was really, really happy with being included in the deal. And then other than that, um, there are some master sets which I'm gonna showcase in future videos. Um, we're gonna go through them as well. For instance, this is a master set of Darkness Ablaze from the Short Sword and Shield era. And then there's also um, Champion's Path in here, which you guys know Champion's Path was like the hardest set ever to pull the VMAX Charizard or the, uh, the Rainbow Rare. So yeah, guys, that is a little update on what I've been up to. Sorry that I haven't been posting um, as regularly recently. Like I said in a previous video, if you haven't uh, seen it, I did mention that I kind of want to switch up my content on this channel a little bit. I want to do some really unique things, um, some cool things like this, like doing buying £20,000 um, Pokemon collection and showcasing it to you guys. So there has been a little bit of a uh, low numbers of uploads recently, but I do plan on doing some really cool content. So I appreciate everyone who's sticking around and uh, enjoying the content. Like I said, this is completely new to me. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, I now have a complete new website for you guys as well, which I'm going to be doing the box breaks on and also be potentially selling some of this stuff if I think that I don't really want it for my collection, but some of you guys may want it and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Until then, I am out.